right, everyone, here it is, Wild Wednesday. Another fun day at Riverbank Zoo with our very own Tyler mm. Ryan. <laughs> what is he up to this time, Henry and Sharon? I just, the images we saw earlier mm -hmm. of Tyler, who's like, you know, 5'8", okay. and the bear that's like 8 foot, right. was fantastic. Mm, Tyler, what do you have for us, man? Henry, you know what? <laughs> you just missed your dream come true. Um, I'm here in the, the Tamron <laughs> uh, exhibit, and one jumped on my shoulder, and I felt a piercing pain right back here. <laughs> so you missed it. Wow. And I screamed well, like a little girl. Uh, <laughs> didn't I? Well, okay, but more importantly, yeah. Was Jared rolling on this? Was I don't think he was. I think he missed it. Oh, Susan O'Kane from failed. the zoo says that I scream like a little girl. So. Okay. Hi. <laughs> All right. So we're with Sarah Floyd now, and these guys are tamarins. Yes, they are. They're golden lion oh. tamarins. <laughs> Good. And they come from the rainforest of Brazil. Uh-huh. He's eyeballing me. All right. So they're in Brazil, and they're like little primates, like little monkeys then. They are. They're monkeys. Yep. Will he jump on my arm if I put it out? Uh, quite possibly. <laughs> uh, he, he, she, she warned me. She said they have no boundary issue, or they have boundary they, issues. They don't have boundary issues. They're um, very social species. Um, <laughs> really? They usually live in groups of two to eight in the wild. Uh -huh. um, they're, and they are very social, very strong family groups. They'll actually help right. take care of the infants. Um, very wow. often uh, when a female gives birth, they're actually going to have two at a time. That's a lot for the mother to carry. So whatever family group they have, each animal is going to take turns carrying the, the child and taking care of it. Right. The mom will usually only take it back to nurse. So it's very important that we have Tyler, a strong, look at your strong eyes. family situation so that they help take care of the kids. All right. Wow. My goodness. All right. So these guys, and these guys are, of course, here at Riverbanks. Now, we're, we're in the, okay. Ow, ow, okay. So you're biting me. Um, yes! You, you, you yes! Saw, you saw, okay. You see it? Are you happy now? Okay. Okay. Right, buddy. Oh, oh, my gosh. <laughs> okay. Your arm down. But, all right, there you go, buddy. All right, all right. We're no, gonna go you. ahead and do okay. that. Good monkey. <laughs> it's got bit by a monkey. <laughs> and see, now I'm a little timid and shy. All right, so these guys are, are here on exhibit. Obviously, we're we're in the back end where um, you're actually breeding them because these guys are in danger. There's 1,500 or so in the world. They are. Um, in the 1970s, the numbers actually decreased to about 200 in the wild, and so mm -hmm. they're considered critically endangered, but these are a great example of a conservation project that's really working in the wild. What basically happens is you protect the land that's in um, their native areas of Brazil, but what you also can do is captively breed and then reintroduce into the wild, and that's okay. what they've been doing with this species. So they've gone from about 200 individuals to somewhere between 1,000 and 1,500 in the wild. Now that's oh, wow. still not a lot, but obviously we're moving in the right direction, right. and that's a very important thing for this species. It's a great example of how conservation can work. So these guys, but, but here at the zoo, you breed them and then you reintroduce them on exhibits and keep them uh, in other zoos so people can see and, and folks can learn about them and you can study. Wow. Absolutely. It's very important not only to try to protect the land uh, in those native areas and to reintroduce, but also to have a very healthy captive population. That way we can um, inform and educate the public so that they can understand how important these species are and to help um, want to protect them in the wild as well. So it's very important to have a very healthy genetic diversity within the captive population. With a tail, can they swing? Can they hang like a possum from a tree? They can't actually. Their tail is not prehensile. Some, um, some it's not what? It's That's a big word. <laughs> prehensile, basically meaning that it can be used like a, an additional arm. Um, some, some monkeys, uh, like the howler monkeys that live in Central America, can actually use their, their tail as, a, an, as another arm, and they can actually hang from it. But these guys, it's more of just a balance thing. So they use it to sway back and forth, almost like a tightrope walker would use um, a, a long pole to okay. balance on a tightrope. Awesome. Oh, okay, guys. Wow. I wonder what they eat other than Tyler. What in, yeah, besides me, what do they eat? <laughs> um, they uh, mostly like fruits and vegetables, especially here at the zoo. Um, they are considered omnivores, though, so they do have um, a fairly large portion of their diet that they will consume insects, um, and occasionally maybe even a small invertebrate like a small lizard, but sure. not much bigger than that. <laughs> these guys are awesome. All right, well, these are the, uh, the tamarins. Of course, you can come see them and hang out and... I hope you're happy, Rothenberg. <laughs> oh, okay. Will you stick your finger out? Because she was saying like small no. things like lizards. No, just, you I know, will not see stick if my like finger out. I'm a little finger. worried he's going to bite me in the face. All right. Well, next we're going to uh, <laughs> we're going to talk to some other Madagascar Madagascarian animals. Yes, we're going to go see the lemurs in a couple of minutes oh, as Wild Wednesdays continue. I'm going to bring one of these home, put it in your truck, Rothenberg. How about that? Aw. <laughs> that Stay <is> safe, Tyler. <laughs> that my day is like so complete now. Watching the monkey bite him. 
Let's go all we need is him screaming like the little girl. I wish Jared had been rolling all day. And that would definitely be YouTube material. Yes. 